Liverpool Combat Club came together at just like this perfect time. When you, how, like, how did this idea come together for you guys to be working together? It started really with you and John. I mean, the way it all came about, there was not some big plan or anything. It came about just very organically. It was, uh, I was going to wrestle Brian and, uh, so we need a reason for me to wrestle Brian. Because I was going to wrestle Brian, and then I went to rehab because I was drunk, right? So. And it was just this idea of how do we make me and John's match more interesting when John came back. So it, just, it wants to do me and Brian, two big stars. Just, you know, okay. So we need a reason to wrestle. And the idea, I think, the original idea was... Uh, okay, you guys get into a confrontation, you're watching the matches, and then you know, you're like, I want you, or whatever it is. And I was like, what, what's more interesting is if my original idea to fight him, or was not to fight him, would just be to join him. Ryan said something about, like, maybe, you know, I could uh, float the idea of us doing a team to you. Well, why do I want to join him? Uh, to make wrestling better. But you know that I'm a bad guy. You don't trust me. Like, okay, how could I convince him that I'm not just trying to fool him, mm -hmm. that I actually want him to do this thing? And I'd done something similar with Jericho where he wanted me to join the intercept. Right, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we do that. And I'm like, yes, but then I get mad that you team with somebody else or something. And what, I don't know, just some kind of, like, reason for us to start having some kind of story. So we do this, so we go do a promo in the ring, and I don't know what Brian's going to say. He doesn't know what I'm going to say. So then I cut a promo saying, like, imagine the world that we could create. Brian suggests to me in the ring on TV that we should be a team. If, like, you and I team together. And he talks about how we could take young guys and mold them. And, and we take some young guys, and we take them under our wing, and we, we fucking teach them how this, how this, how this business should be, goddammit. And, like, uh... <laughs> You know, you don't have anybody watching your back, and we could we could dominate this place. Well, all this stuff that he said in that promo, and I was listening to it for the first time in the ring, and he made such a compelling case. <laughs> and when we got to the back after the thing, John was like, "Yeah, you were pretty persuasive out there." <laughs> I'm in. And then, I and the audience actually was kind of you could tell the audience was going, "Huh, okay." You know, yeah. that actually kind of makes sense. Yeah, you know, it wasn't like. Jericho and the Inner Circle were like total bad guy characters. Like joining them would have been like turning to the dark side. Brian was making a really good case. Yeah, and it, it was the people were actually kind of uh, reacting strongly to the idea. Like you know, I, th I think he's got a point. I'd watch that. And then yeah. we were just I was sitting at home. I think we were going to the mall or something, and I was sitting there thinking about like what we were going to do. And yeah, you know, yeah. And I went. You know, sometimes you just got to turn the rock over and see what's underneath there and just go, what if I said yes? You know, like everybody can see it coming a mile away. Then I don't be like, no, I'm not going to join you, bad guy. I don't trust you. But what if I was just like, okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. What would that look like? And then I started thinking about more and more. And I'm like, it's way more interesting if we do team up. Yeah. And that's so much more TV and so many more stories. Brian. I texted Brian and I was like, man, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was thinking, what if we did do that? And he's like, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I mean, I don't, you didn't, I can't in real life or as a character, think of a good reason to say no. And then I think persuasive enough that we just joined, <laughs> we just joined together after we fought. So. And uh, he's like, yeah, so we, one of us or both of us talked to Tony and I talked to Tony. He's kind of like, he didn't see the whole vision at first. He's like, yeah, you know, you could do it for a few weeks and then, then break up or whatever. But I'm like, nah, like I, me and Brian both like saw the vision mm -hmm. without even really having to, like, I could tell we both saw the exact same thing. Uh, yeah. So that, that's kind of how it, it, it all came about. And the serendipitous timing of William Regal becoming available for you guys. I just floated it to, I floated it to Brian or Tony first. I went like, look, I'm not, I haven't talked to him in a while because Regal had just got fired, uh, left and next team. Yeah. And I was like, I haven't talked to him in a while. Uh, I don't know if he's actually available. I don't know if he even wants to work. I don't know what his contractual status is. 
if he'd even be interested. I'm just fantasy booking. Mm-hmm. But Regal's got this relationship with me. We've got this relationship with Brian. And we're doing this like story right now. He's like the perfect in between guy. There's got to be something we could like. And I kind of had the vision of him coming in and it was breaking up the fracas and you know all that. Those slaps he gave you guys, holy. That was rough. Yeah, (laughs) I knew it would be. Yeah, yeah. Uh, And uh, (laughs) so I kind of threw that out there, and Brian said, "Yeah, I was thinking the same thing," and. He is interested, and Tony already talked to him, and he is available. <laughs> so, like, they were already thinking the exact same yeah. thing I was thinking before I even <laughs> came up, had to come up with the idea. So, like, everybody was thinking the same thing, and, like, they had already called him and talked to him, and they're like, yeah, he's going to be at the pay-per-view. <laughs> I'm perfect, because I was already... Uh, oh, you're like, already perfect. set. And I, oh, it, it worked out so good, and uh, for a bunch of reasons, as far as, you know been extremely beneficial to me just and and it's really just fun and awesome and we have such a good relationship and you know train try out moves and stuff and uh have a open group texts where we send videos and stuff back and forth and you know like it's just so good for me and like it just fits so perfectly and like because it's a real thing you know it's not this act we're putting on you know it's friggin', it's cool, man. 